let's cook some shit. First, you need a pizza pan. This one looks good enough. We'll just put it on the tails. It's hot. I'll just kind of put it right here. Now let me get this out of the way. There we go. And then you need pizza crust. But this one. Making actual pizza crust is a lot of work. And we just ain't, we ain't got time for that around here. So we just go to the store, buy a pre-made one. So for all you libtars that live off the government, the least you can do is make your own pizza crust. Pizza sauce. We ain't got none of that. What we got? Same thing we used last time. Whatever the hell traditional sauce is. Spread it around. Move it around. There we go. Looks like your mom's period. On top of the pizza sauce goes cheese. Good. We're gonna put some sliced provolone on this, cause why not? God damn it, Walmart. All right. All right, we ended up having to cut the whole bag open because, you know, Walmart sucks. That's all right. That's what Ziploc bags are for. Put some pepperoni and shit on here. We're gonna put a whole lot more than pepperoni, but we're gonna start with pepperoni. 
Pepperoni is made from uh, pigs, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't really say. Oh, here it is. Dead pig and dead cat. All right. You need about this much. We should probably start preheating the oven too. Let's see what we got. Four twenty-five. All right. Get to peel these apart sometimes. They get a little sticky, but I've had enough practice peeling your mom's legs open that it's no problem. Sometimes I think this ain't real pepperoni, but it don't really matter because it's all going to end up in the septic tank tomorrow anyway. That should do it. Pepperoni looks lonely. So we're gonna put some salami too. Hard. Like my penis when your mom plays with it. A little bit more. I don't need a whole bunch of it. Just, just a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. All right. More cheese. Because you never have too much cheese. Unless it's from under cheese. Then you can always have too much of that. You need to go take a shower. All right, don't put too much on right now because we have to add the rest of our ingredients and stuff. So we're just gonna put a little bit down to kind of, you know, just hold everything in place. All right, that should be good for now. Now let's uh, put a little bit of vegetables on this. What do you say? Onions and peppers. It's about the only vegetable you'll catch me eating because vegetables for chumps.
Oh, let's go with the onion. Don't put too much. You don't want to overpower the flavor of your meat. Not like, not like plants taste like anything anyway, but you know, just want to, you know, just be careful. Here's the lid, okay. <clears throat> Shall say we put a little bit of cactus on this. You don't need a whole bunch, just, you know. All right, let's move this, this around and make it look pretty. There we go. Yeah, that should be enough. Now we need some meat. Let's start off with some more dead pig. Just want to kind of break it up, chunk it around. That's good. Now let's put some dead cow. We just ground it up, nothing special. Put a little more cheese to hold all that stuff in place. That should hold it. Let's put some dead turkey on there. It's in a wiener for. Dead turkey wiener. But you didn't know how they had this much wiener, did you? Well, they don't. Turkeys don't have wieners at all. They're birds. Yeah, let's just throw off. Put some more dead pig on this dead turkey. Dice ham. I'm not gonna put too much of this on here, just a little bit. That should be good. Let's put a little more cheese to hold that down. That should be enough. 
Let's see what else is in the refrigerator that we could put on this. Oh, looky that. How about some of those leftover carnitas that came from the vegan nachos? Oh, yeah. Carnitas. Carnitas. Some carnitas. More carnitas. There we go, yeah. I think that should do it. Let's top it off with some cheese. That should probably be enough. We, we used a lot of this cheap, man. That was a one pound, one pound bag. Most of the gum. We ain't put enough cheese on there. So, murder the Toro. But not least, just for funsies, queso azul. Or for all you monolingual morons, blue cheese. I'm not gonna put a whole bunch on here, just you know, a little bit. A little bit. Tastes like, tastes like dude. All right, let's pop this oversized hooker in the oven. Oh Lord, that's heavy. Okay, Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. Got it, 10 minutes. And that's starting now. All right, let's uh, let's clean all this bollocks up. Some of y'all probably wondering, do I always make this big of a mess when I'm cooking stuff? And the answer is yes, I do. I make a mess out of everything. Just ask your mom. I made a mess out of her last night too.
came out of there walking off, walking off funny, hair all messed up, makeup all messed up. Your mom's so fat. Like, it smelled like fucking smoked turkey in that room. Like, damn, it smells like Thanksgiving in here. Because your mom's nasty like that. All right, we're going to have to clean this up better later. But we ain't going to do it right now because, you know. Pizza. It's a good way to get rid of leftovers. Kind of like your mom, who's left over. See what it looks like. Looks good. Looks like a heart attack. I was gonna put some chicken and shrimp on here so that way the most animals possible would be dead for this pizza. But after I realized how much stuff was actually already going on the pizza, but we don't need more dead animals on here. We don't need shrimp, crab, lobster, chicken, and all that other stuff. So, yeah, we're just leaving it with land animals today. Sure, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to cut too. Unlike cutting your mom out of my life. That was real easy. All right, so now we're just waiting. Um, yeah, something I don't really know what to say to y'all. Nothing. Most of y'all ain't worth talking to anyway. Oh, we should probably put this ground beef away. Everybody should have one of these. It is a leftover bowl that you can just dump random stuff in that go in tacos. Call it the taco bowl. Luckily, it's almost done. And I could just stop talking a bunch of stupid shit. Because, honestly, I, it's just kind of verbal diarrhea. It's just kind of whatever comes to mind. It just comes out. Kind of like me on your mom's mind. All the time. Just all the time.
waiting and waiting and waiting is the most boring part. And next time we might make five animal pizza. In fact, I should probably put that on the on the list. Pizza to make five animal pizza. Where's my pen? Here it is. Fortunately, this isn't the deadliest pizza I've ever made. I've made. Probably five animal pizza will be the most deadly pizza I've ever made. And on top of that, well, I really can't do anything about that. Can't control which animal dies, unfortunately. But if I put shrimp on it, that'll, that'll make the body count go up quite a bit. Probably get to play that because this is about to get next. Okay, Google, stop. Here we go. Loaded ass pizza by request. <laughs> 